they if there are some places where they pay like in two weeks there are some places where they pay uh, every month there are some places where they pay every week or there are some places where they even pay you every day <laughs> welcome back to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time like i always say you are very welcome if you're a returning subscriber you are also welcome in today's video i'll be talking mostly like i'll be talking about the job opportunities here in czech republic because i've been getting a lot of questions about if you can get student jobs while working in czech republic or if you can walk up to save your for your tuition fee or for your accommodation and all that so in today's video i'll be explaining all that i know about the jobs here in czech republic so if after this video if you're still not sure you can always put the questions you have in the comment section and i will try to answer them as much as i can before we continue this video, do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to like this video, share with your friends, turn on the notification. For the jobs in Czech Republic, in my previous videos, there is, uh, there is a video I, the first video, it should be the first video, I talked about jobs or second video, I talked about jobs in Czech Republic. I, I, would, I would just dedicate this whole video for that. Now, if we're talking about student jobs, there's nothing like student jobs in Czech Republic. There's nothing called student jobs. It's either you're working part-time or you're working full-time. does not matter if you're working student job or it does not matter if you're a student or not. And if you already have your, if you have your visa, you are permitted to work 20 hours per week or even more if you want to. Now, I'll be starting with the part-time jobs. There are a lot of part-time jobs here for English speakers, non-English speakers. There are a lot of part-time jobs here. I mentioned in my previous, I'll be putting the description, I'll put in the link in the description, description box. So for the part-time part -time jobs, you can work at, uh, like I said before, places like McDonald's, KFC, uh, Burger King, uh, restaurants places like this you can work there as a part-timer as a student if you if you know you do you, you you don't have space your lectures are not flexible you can work at such places and you can work maybe three times a week depending on you and for these part-time jobs the salary rate is from 100 check crown to 180 check crown Per hour depending on what you're doing it can even be more it can be more so it depends on how lucky you are or depending on what job you're doing so it can be from 100 to 180 or more for the part-time job and you don't actually need any experience working experience to work in this place and there's one thing if you want to work um, as a part-timer let's say in places like KFC or not just KFC every everywhere if you have somebody, not that you cannot go, you cannot apply yourself, you can. But if you have somebody who will just like put out, put up some words for you, like this person is my friend or whatever, it will be very, very easy. Not that I'm what I'm not saying that without this you cannot get job. You can, but I'm just telling you that if you can get someone who was who is already working there to put up some good words for you, you know you're a foreigner, so they want to be sure that you are you will be with them so if you have somebody that okay this person is this or that then to be very that that will make the process very easy not that you cannot do it yourself now for the for the professional that was for the unprofessional now for the professional jobs you can uh work like i mentioned i'll be putting the link of this video in the description box so if you have not seen this video before you can go and watch it for the unprofessional for the professional job why am i saying unprofessional job huh for the professional jobs you can work as a it support you can work as a 
customer service representative you can work as a hr if you if you're coming from let's say some part of africa are french something like that so if you have a second language like french or spanish or any other language it will be very very easy to get jobs like this hr because they're dealing with the the uh, they're dealing with europe so they would want someone that can speak another language english and another language but you can also work as hr with with just your english if you're working for an english speaking company and we have a lot of english speaking company here in czech republic so if you're working in a uh, full-time or part-time because you can actually work as part-timer in a in, in the prof as a profession in a professional job you can also work as a part-timer not just as a full-time you can also work as a part-timer depending on how flexible your classes your lectures are if you want to work as a part-timer your salary will be from 15k to 25k or 30k or more depending on the company so i'm not going to be telling you one like a specific amount but if you're working as a part-timer, it will be from 15k to 30k gross per month. When I mean gross, before tax, because you must pay tax. Anything you're doing, even if you're working as a part-timer, you must pay tax. Now, the um, if you're working as a full-timer, that is 40 hours per week, your salary will be from 25k to 50k or even more depending on your company so it depends on where you are working that is what will determine your salary but mind you it's not it should it will not be less than 25k upwards if you're working as a full-timer in czech republic it will not be less than that and it's per month they don't pay per hour it's the only way they can pay you per hour is when you're working part-time so they can calculate the hours you've worked for a week and so at the end of the month they can pay you sometimes they if there are some places where they pay like in two weeks there are some places where they pay uh, every month there are some places where they pay every week or there are some places where they even pay you every day so depending i'm talking about the part-time job not the full-time job a full-time you have to they have to you have to wait for the next month before they can like it's like if you if you work for you start work from let's say november 1st till 30th of november your salary will not be coming that 30th mm -mm. depending on the company some pay like seventh like seven days after the ending of the month some people even pay two weeks after so don't be expecting salary oh they will always show it's always in your contract that this is the time we pay if you are good with it no problem if you're not good with it then you can look for another job and most companies here in czech republic even part-time full-time they provide insurance for your for all their workers they give insurance to them not that it's free it's not free you actually pay for the insurance so it's not really it's not free but the good thing is that that insurance can card that insurance card you can use it anywhere in this Schengen EU area or EU. You can use it. Also, the one you're bringing from your country, like the one you buy at um, when you got your visa, you can also use that. But this one is more, can I say, at the top? Yeah, it's more at the top. So, yeah. You can work as uh, as a customer service, as a HR, IT support, and other jobs that I I don't I cannot remember the names. So you can work as a the the, the whole point of this video is to tell you uh, the that you don't have to have a work visa before you can work here in Czech Republic. You don't have to have it because some people are asking me if you have to you know some in you know, some countries after getting your uh after getting your student visa if you want to work you will have to apply for a work visa yeah no with a student visa you are you are eligible to work in czech republic 
that is all about the jobs here in Czech Republic. Maybe there might be some things I failed to add or did not remember to add. If you have questions depending on this topic, you can always put it down in the notification. And there's one thing, oh, you can always put it down in the comment section. And there's one thing I failed to mention. If you're coming to Czech Republic, you're coming to places that are not that uh big should i say big cities like prague bono uh ostrava libres you're coming you're not coming to these places when you're coming to the small town it will be very hard for you to get jobs that is the truth if your plan is to come to czech republic to work and also to go to school you are, you should also put it in mind to look for to to look for schools in the, the the city area like the like Prague, Bruno, like the ones I mentioned earlier. If that is your plan, your plan to come here, work, save up for your tuition and accommodation. So I suggest you look for places like that. Mind you, Prague is more is the most expensive among all these uh, big cities in Czech Republic. But also, they can also pay you well, and Bruno too. So. If you want to work and also study, you should consider these cities. But if you have sponsors or someone who is, you, in fact, if you don't want to work, you can go to small cities. You can also come to Czech too if you want to. But what I'm trying to say in essence is this. If you're planning to come to Czech Republic and also to work, please look for cities that are, that you can work. Uh, I'll be, I'll be putting the cities that way you can easily get jobs as an English speaker on the screen. So please, don't say, okay, I, you watched my video and, you, I, and I said they, there is there are jobs in Czech Republic and you go to maybe a city where no, I don't, nobody even, not, not that people don't know about the city, but you go to a city where it's small, they, look, they are like locals, they speak, almost all of them speak Czech, it's even hard for them, like before they see black or foreigner, it's hard, and you go to that city and you want to, you want to work, my dear, it will be hard for you, you will not see any job, but if you can speak their language, if you can speak Czech, if you can speak Czech, very good, you will get job easily, but if you cannot, and you are expecting to go to that kind of a city to get job, my dear, you are wasting your time. So please, if you're planning to come to Czech Republic, I know I'm repeating myself, but I will still say it again. If you're planning to come to Czech Republic to work and also to study, please look for, try to go to some cities that I'm putting up in the screen. So this will be, bring the end of today's video. If you are yet to subscribe, please do not forget to do so. And also turn on the notification, share this video with your friends that might find it useful. And see you guys in my next video. Ahoy! Bye!